Dividends, I, they're not going to negate your losses this year for the most part. You're still going to be down, but you'll be down less and maybe getting paid a little bit to wait. Uh, what do you think about the dividend strategy for the markets? I think the dividend strategy works, Brian, and it works for certain sectors because we are now in an inflationary environment. This is something we haven't seen in 20, 25 years. So what works in inflation? You want things that are going to inflate. Commodities inflate. So we like commodity dividend-paying stocks. Okay, listen, you're, you're, the market, unless you're oil and gas or a few select others, you're probably down. It's a painful time. It's a bit of a scary year. We got all these stats, worst market in 50 years. I get that. What are some of the concerns you are hearing, though, from clients? Because we know that people, and it's human nature, no blame, tend to sell at the exact worst moments. People sell at the wrong, at the wrong moments. They're, they're scared. They've lost 20, 25%. They don't want to lose any more. Most of our clients are nearing retirement age. But there are a couple of names that I think would help them. Here's the one is Rio Tinto. 12% yield, Brian, 12%. 100 billion market cap. It's in the iron ore space, aluminum, copper, other minerals. Largest exporter of seaborne salt. Okay, iron ore is used to make steel, other things. The world could not exist without Rio Tinto. Okay, they do have a bad carbon footprint, which is difficult. 12% yield, highly profitable, 20% profit margins, very strong balance sheet. So here's one that you can cheer on. Yeah, and the other one that you like is kind of a very similar company. In fact, maybe the, the sort of the cousin, if you will, of Rio Tinto, and that is BHP. You're, you're not going to please ESG investors with these names, but as we are learning for the G7 and others, Weaning the world off of fossil fuels, heavy dug minerals, mining, whatever it may be, is probably going to be about a multi-decade, if not longer, affair. BHP. BHP is another one. I mean, 143 billion market cap, dividend yield 5.3 percent, not as strong um, as Rio Tinto. Founded in 1885, it's the largest mining company in the world. Okay, headquartered in Australia. The revenue side, again, iron ore, 57%, copper, 26%, petroleum, coal, 8%. The problem, so BHP understands that people don't like the coal business, so they're getting out of it. But the coal business isn't going to go away. They're going to sell it to someone else, someone probably private, who's going to keep doing the coal. But never mind. Revenues are flat over the decade, very cyclical. But again, strong balance sheet, very profitable. 20, 30 percent free cash flow margins. Uh, again, this is one if you want yield, if you're concerned about inflation, if you're concerned about uh, some of the things we're seeing, these are names you have to think about. 